Sometimes the Blender community is pretty damn epic. Alright guys, how's it going? So I have a really nice add-on here for you today, and it's called the Raycast Selection. Now it's not brand new, it was released in January 2019, but there has been an update for Blender 2.9, and the developer released this a couple of weeks ago. Now there is a version for 2.8 and 2.9, you just need to kind of dig your way through the thread. Now I'm going to give you a word of warning first and foremost. The developer is not a native English speaker, and he's a little bit direct. <laughs> Let's put it that way. In fact, I actually quite admire him. He's quite funny at times. So just keep that in the back of your mind, but this tool's pretty cool. And essentially what Raycast selection does is, it sends a ray into the scene, and it means it can grab the mouse position, and it makes selecting objects a lot easier, to be honest. Now, if you come from Modo or even Maya, you'll feel this a little bit more intuitive or a bit more natural, to be honest. So we'll take a quick look and we'll jump into Blender. Now, one thing you need to do is you actually need to set up your key commands. There is a confliction with it, so what I've done here is I've set it to mouse button 4. Now, just to give you an idea of my mouse, I'm using a Rival 600, that's from Steel Series, and my button 4 is essentially here on the left-hand side, and it makes things a bit easier. So when it comes to selecting things in Blender, what you'll do is you'll hit this, you'll hold down shift, you might even do something like a box select, pretty cool. But with button 4 or raycast selection, I can just do this. Nice and easy, it just, it's just so much more intuitive. And it feels more natural, especially coming from Lightwave or Modo. Now it also works in edit mode. Now you can hold down shift so you can do like multi-selecting, and if you hold down control, it'll deselect, so it's basically control and shift as your main keys. But what I'll do here is I'll delete this default cube, we'll go back to the basic one, I'll tab into edit mode, and you can see here I have polygons, edges and points, I've subdivided the cube. So generally when you're selecting points, you'll hold down this, you'll hold down shift, you'll do something like this. You might even change the tool to the circle tool, you might even go to the lasso tool. By the way, tool tip, press W and it'll cycle through these. Perfectly fine. But with Raycast, what I can do is I'm on point mode, I can just hit in button 4 and I can do this. Nice and easy. And it does definitely feel much more, it feels much more mature to be honest. And of course this works with edges, so you can do edges as well, and polygons. And it's excellent. Now once you let go of your shortcut, you can click off and it'll drop the selection. So let's say you make a selection, so let's say you do something like this, and you want to deselect this polygon, all you do is hit Control middle mouse button 4, and it deselects it, or Shift will start adding it up. And it's pretty cool because you can do things like this. It kind of reminds me of the Paint tool. Now just remember when you click off it'll drop the tools, which is why you have Shift to expand the selection. And that is pretty much the Raycast tool. It's a nice workflow tool, let's put it that way. And there is kind of similar tools available out there in the market, so it might be worth shopping around if you're not entirely happy. Do me a favour, guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, support me on Gumroad. You know what to do. Take care. Oh yeah, Blender Royale tonight, 9pm. Cheerio.